Hey there, it's Jen Scow, and I'm here with a layout for Hip Kit Club. Today we are doing a product focus, and the products that I've chosen to focus on are these stencils from Vicki Booten that came in the color kit. And then I also wanted to focus on these die cuts from the stamp market that I believe are in the embellishment kit. I'm going to use the brushes with those inks to go through my stencils and then I've printed my photos so that they'll be the same size as the tags that come in that die cut pack because I want to cut my photos into that same shape. So this is a fun way to um, do something different with your photos is just cut them into a similar shape as some of the die cuts that you have uh, and what I'm going to do is create uh, tags out of those photos. So I'm just going to trim off the excess white on my photos here with my little uh, guillotine trimmer from Tonic and then I will um, kind of trace them with the tags. Apparently I was going really slow when I did this or did I not speed it up? No, I'm definitely sped up. <laughs> it just seems like I'm going super slow for some reason. I don't know. But I love that guillotine trimmer because it always cuts nice and um, straight and it also it can cut very fine. So I like that. So here I'm trying to decide what, like what order I want the photos in because I want them to, what I plan to do is to have a photo on one side and then a tag on the other side of it and they'll be tied together in the middle. You'll see what I mean as we go along here. But what I'm doing now is just tracing the tags and cutting off the corners where the tags are. I'm not making much sense. I'm sorry. My brain is just dead today. <laughs> um, I'm. You can see what I'm doing. I'm cutting around the photos in the shape of the tag. That's what I'm doing. Then I'm also going to cut off the branding strip here on this basil cardstock. It's a light, light pink color. And so I thought this would be fine to stencil on top of because it's so light. Um, that I think the other that all three of these colors will, will work well on it. So I'm starting with the citrine and I'm just using a blending brush here. The blending brush that I have is actually from the stamp market as well. And I'm just, um, I'm not going too close to the edges and I'm not going to make this perfect. Uh, what I kind of want to do is make it so that I can stretch this stencil, which is six by eight, all the way down the layout. So I did get a little bit heavy handed in the middle uh, with the orange there. You can kind of see it, but it doesn't matter because it gets covered up anyway. So I'm just going from yellow to orange to the cherry and I'm kind of going pretty light on the cherry because I want it to look more pinky than red. Um, at this point in time I do. Eventually I, <laughs> my, my idea was to not have red on this layout but I changed my mind and you'll see that here. So there are my photos. That's how I'm going to arrange them and then I'm going to put a tag across from each one. And at this point, I'm just trying to find tags that I think will look cute. Then I thought maybe it would be nice if I had the tags matching the ink in the background, and that would help draw attention to the ink as well. And so I will end up doing that. Um, and that's why I decided to bring in the red because there was a red tag and it just ended up working out nicely. And so uh, I'm going to play around for a minute about or with how I want these arranged. First I thought I would do them in a straight line, which looks nice and good and all that, but I decide uh, to instead stagger them, and you'll see that here. Um, I thought, let's try to find an orange tag, and I couldn't find one, but I did um, see one on the pattern paper in the main kit uh, that has the cut aparts on it, and you'll see me cut that out here in a little bit. At this point I'm thinking, well, the flowers from that big floral paper that's also from the stamp market match these colors as well. So I cut one of each color of the flowers and now I'm trying to match up the colors. So I'm kind of moving things around here, trying to decide if I can make this work. Um, I'm not exactly sure how to do it because I didn't have orange and uh, I, I didn't want to to cut from that paper to get my orange, but I decided to anyway. So it's going to work out just fine. Um, one of the things that was bothering me is the hello. I really wanted to use the hello, but the tag was yellow and it needed to face a certain way. And, 
and the photo that needed to face next to it um, needed to go in the center and so it had to be orange and not yellow. So I just cut the top off the tag and put it on a different one so I could use it at the top. I hope that makes sense. And then I'm gonna layer the hello over the orange tag so that it looks more like the other two. So here I'm kind of um, grabbing some more of the die cuts out and I'm adding this, them color on color, uh, trying to see if I can make this uh, kind of tone on tone idea work and I think that it's definitely going to. So I needed to trim that tag down slightly and I'm going to adhere the hello to it so it looks like one uh, cohesive tag and just trim off any excess and then I will adhere that yellow piece of the tag that was on top of the hello to that other tag instead. <laughs> so uh, just making it work here. Um, I am cutting out the flowers now and I'm not going to make you watch me cut them out. There's just three of them. They're large and they're not too hard to fussy cut. So I I left a slight border around them and I'm doing the pinky red one at the bottom, the orange one in the middle, and the yellow one at the top. Here I'm going ahead and um, punching the holes in my photos and yes it punches through us in some of the photos but not into a place where it's too uh, crazy and so I'm fine with it. And now I'm going to place down my tags. I was trying to line this up so that it was perfectly centered across the page. Um, but then I didn't like how close together they were going to be the way that I had started it out. Um, and the, the red was going to be so open on the bottom. So I decided to start from there and work my way up. And here you can see I'm staggering them. Uh, I just like the look of that a little bit better. So I started in the center with the orange, which is better because then I have a little bit of uh, red at the top and a little bit of, I mean, a red at the bottom and yellow at the top. I'm using my T-square ruler to help me make sure that these are straight. And um, now I am going to put some thread through the tags. So I wrapped it around twice and then just tied it in a bow in the center. And I'm going to skip through this too because for some reason I was fumbling and having a hard time tying a bow. But I just tied bows between all three of them. There you can see it. And uh, trimmed the ends. Although I did leave the ends a little bit long because I like the look of them hanging down. And now I'm going to play with these flowers and little tabs to see kind of how I might want to arrange them. So I am trying to to keep them next to the photos so they will create a visual triangle because the photos bounce back and forth and create a visual triangle as well. So um, red on the bottom left, orange on the, on the right in the middle, and then yellow I kind of did on the top uh, center of that last photo. And now I'm adding the tabs up on foam and just adding them in a different place on each photo. And the one in the center I put on the side because that was where there was the most space to, to layer something over the photo. And I'm going to use this word life that also came in that die cut package for the main part of my title. Again, popping that up on foam. I'm using a big, huge foam roll from scrapbook.com and I really like it. So, um... If you are looking for foam adhesive, it's a good thickness. It's not too thick and it's not too thin. Um, I do like thin foam as well, but when I'm when I don't want to use the thin foam, I go for this one because it's not super thick. Um, I'll link to it in the video description if I can remember. Uh, anyway, I am going to use these uh, pink paisley puffy stickers to create the rest of my title and I decided to use the word lucky. So right now it says lucky life and in a little bit here I will add the word in as well. Um, but for now I'm just going to go uh, with adding some puffy stickers. These are the Amy Tangerine like dimensional puffy stickers. They have I think they call them embossed puffy stickers. They definitely have some dimension to them. Uh, besides just being puffy, they definitely have areas that are higher and lower. So I added some flowers and a heart 
and now I am going to the stamp market little stickers. So I am pulling from all of the kits pretty much, um, but the, these little stamp market word stickers and I'm adding them in coordinating colors as well. And then I'm thinking, what else could I add to make um, another interesting pattern or look on this layout? And I thought I would grab the washi tape and add a little bit at the top and bottom. And the washi tape is rainbow striped, so I thought I'll add the yellow and the green mostly at the top and then the red and pink at the bottom. But I didn't like the way it looked, so I just decided to tuck the red and pink underneath the bottom photo. And I'm going to tuck a little bit of that yellow um, at the top and I'm happier with that. So here's where I decide to add the word in. I'm stealing from another word, but that's okay. That's kind of how I like to use these alphabet or these phrase stickers. I use that some of them as the words and then some of them I kind of mix up. So I'm just adding in a few things here and there from other sticker sheets. Um, I'm going to grab a few things from these Amy Tangerine thickers. Um, couple of those little kind of sparkly flowers and a heart and I think that's all I grabbed from there. I thought I might use this love you speech bubble but it just didn't work out. I had the all smiles puffy sticker and that was enough. Um, I thought I would also grab some sunglasses off of this uh, Dear Lizzie here and now sticker sheet because my daughter is wearing sunglasses in the pictures and she looks super cute. So I put some red ones. Um, I put a an orange baseball cap because my husband is wearing a hat. Um, I like to find little instances where I can add things like that because sometimes those those things can be hard to use. So I thought maybe at the top and bottom I would add this black border strip. But when I held it up, and, and looked at it, I just felt like it was too heavy. It was too dark or something. I don't know. I just didn't like it. So I pulled it off, even though I had already cut it in half. I'll use it somewhere else. And I'm just going to go ahead and write my journaling on this bottom tag. Um, the tag has lines that go more, um, they, they, they're going the other direction, but it's, they're light, so it's easy to write over the top of them. No big deal. I'm going to go ahead and add the date with that orange ink um, above the word hello, the melon, and then this layout is going to be finished. So I hope that you enjoyed. Here are some close-up photos. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below, and I hope that you'll check out the Hip Kit Clubs. The August kits, May, June <laughs> kits have been revealed, and they are gorgeous, so be sure to check those out. Again, I'll leave links in the video description. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you back here again very soon.